This is PhotoPills 2. Now I'm showing you this on an iPad. However, it's worth noting that this actually works both on the uh, iPhone and on the iPad. And you can see, I can rotate it and see it, um, you know, both different ways on landscape and portrait. Now I've um, reviewed my favorite parts of PhotoPills in the past, but I wanted to just do a quick overview to show, show you what's included um, and in PhotoPills 2. Now they call it the iPad edition, but really it's actually just um, just an update to PhotoPills. It's just a prettier styling that, which was already beautiful to begin with, but it's prettier styling uh, that works both on the iPhone and the iPad, which is um, key. And they're also working on an Android version. I think they said they want it out by Christmas, uh, but I know development takes a while, so we'll see what happens. With that said, just like before, uh, you've got a whole bunch of options, but real quick, let me just go to show you my stuff. So now I, this, I just installed this on the iPad for the first time. I don't have anything set up. Um, when I updated my iPhone version, everything was already included, but I can go in and I can make my own plans. Uh, you can see there's already some already included. I can have my points of interest saved and you can see there's already a, bo a bunch of points of interest already saved and I can add my own. I can go ahead and choose my camera. Now it's default set to a digital rubble. You can go ahead and, you know, choose what camera you want to work with. And that basically just configures a bunch of the settings to that camera ahead of time. Now, uh, I'm gonna skip and go to Academy. Here's where you have the user guide, video tutorials, how-to articles. You can actually buy t-shirts. Now I love this one right here. I have this one um, and I love it. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. I have it in the green color right there. Um, so you can buy t-shirts right within their app as well, which is great. You can learn more about the team. It opens up the browser, basically. Um, quick ways to, to rate the app, get feedback, and so on. And of course, you got a glossary. Now this takes you to their website because it's just easier for them to do it that way. Now in Pills, you have the planner. This was there before, uh, and you can go ahead and you can you know choose your location. Now if you have a, route, um, a, a trip already planned, you can you know, predefine that uh, already and load it up. Um, you can change the hour, so you can view everything for sunrise, sunset, uh, and all that kind of fun stuff. You can do the um, augmented reality if you want, and you can just point your iPad um, or your iPhone in the right direction. You got horizon, so you can um, check out the horizons as well. The sun, here you got all the information about the sun, everything you would need for your photography, uh, blue hour, golden hour, um, nautical, all that kind of fun stuff. It all gives you the time. You can go to the next day and so on. And it's even gonna give you a graphical represent representation of the sun at the top, which of course is gonna look the same, but um, the moon will actually change. You can see the moon actually has a different look. And again, this gives you moon set times, um, sunrise times in here. And as you can see, as I go to the next day, the moon's actually changing. And you can see I can scroll. It's very interactive. You can change, scroll up and down lots of different areas. And of course, there's calendar, you can view it all like here if you wanna find a full moon. Um, there's augmented reality, there's distances, so you can uh, you know do all that if you wanted to. Exposure, now I spent a lot of time in here uh, when I use photo pills for ND calculations. So you can actually use this as, a, as an ND calculator. You can have it change your ISO, your, ex, your, um, your aperture or your shutter speed. So of course with long exposures, the default is shutter speed. Um, so that is basically that. Uh, here you have some information on exposure values. So um, you can actually get some ideas of where you need to go as far as your exposure for different, uh, you know, situations. Depth of field table. This is really good for, uh, you know, really get fine tuning your depth of field. And of course, here's your camera. So if you had this set to a Nikon camera or something else, you can, that would show up like that. And you got your focal length here. You can change your focal length, which will, um, you know, adjust the, the uh, grid accordingly. Hyperfocal table, so if you wanna experiment with uh, hyperfocal distance, then this is where you would do that. Again, put in your camera because it'll change. And this basically tells you in meters, um, You can, in the settings for the app, you can change it to feet, but right now it's set to meters, you can change it. Um, but it shows you how far away you need to actually focus for hyperfocal distance. Field of view, 
So here you can uh, do some, you know, experimenting with fields of view if you want to. And again, everything, you can customize it um, as needed. Subject distance. So you, this is pretty cool because you can actually do some augmented reality. Uh, now I have the case on this, so you're not going to see anything, but... Um, see how long it takes to there we go oh I need to ooh, let's do this okay so it's not going to show you anything because you can see here there's my computer but uh, I have the smart case on here so uh, but you can actually get an idea of how far away a certain subject is if you need for focus um, now of course you have to put in your lens you have to put in a camera so that it really can figure it out for you focal length match um, you know a lot of this is very self-explanatory. Um, it's just a very feature-rich uh, app. So Night AR is something that's fantastic. I use this a lot on my iPhone. I can point it up at the sky and find the Milky Way, find different stars, constellations, whatever I want, uh, find where the sun is, where the moon is, and and so on. Now, you're not really seeing this um, with a picture, but if I was to do this and open my thing, you'd see my ceiling right now. But So you can see that it's actually augmented reality. It's overlaying that. Um, overlaying the sky on what you actually see with the camera. Um, here's star trails, so you can actually estimate star trails, exposure time, and so on and so forth. So you can see how, if you want a lot of star trails, you know, your exposure time right now would be 23 hours, 43 minutes, and 23 seconds. Um, so, you know, there you go. Um, spot stars, so if you want to just get stars, uh, you can do that here. Again, you know, put in your, your camera, your uh, focal length, your, you know, how, you know, the declination of stars, everything you want done, and you'll get your, uh, your shutter speed. And there's a time-lapse calculator as well. Um, I think this one might be fairly new if I recall. Um, but yeah, you can figure out how to set up your, your, um, your time-lapse, which is really cool. So, and there's a whole table here. You can actually figure it out for moonset, for rainbows, for thunderstorms, and so on. So you can get some predefined settings. So this is PhotoPills. Again, um, it's fantastic. It's set up for iPhone and iPad. They're identical now. You don't need to run the iPhone version on the iPad because it's just one, uh, and it's just flexible and adjusts per screen size, which is really great. So I could imagine this being on an Apple TV at some point and, and potentially other, some other stuff uh, if, you, if they really wanted to because now it's completely flexible. So that is uh, PhotoPills 2. It's pretty cool. Again, I love these guys. They're doing some really cool stuff with their app. Um, and if you like the app, if you uh, even if you don't like the app, if you like their t-shirts, buy a t-shirt because they have some fantastic t-shirt designs too. But uh, check out the app. It's fantastic. I think it's around $10 uh, in the store. I haven't checked it since they released the um, the new 2.0 version, but I'm imagining it's also around that same price point. So there you go, PhotoPills 2.0.